honest, I'm going to show you how to hack your SNES Mini uh, to allow you to play more SNES Super Nintendo games and um, Super Famicom games and uh, Mega Drive, PC Engine. Uh, them are the two I'm going to show you because I'm not interested in the other systems. I am interested in the Neo Geo emulation and the... Um, Arcade, CBS 1 and 2, Capcom Board 1 and 2, um, which has some great games. So at one point I'll probably get that working and I'll show you how to do that. But uh, first thing you want to do uh, is download Hatchy, Hatchy, which I'm going to put a link in the description for. So download. Uh, at the moment it's 2.31 but that changes quite frequent quite frequently um, so that's downloading and the other uh, file you need is retro with cores um, so we'll download that the cores are basically the different emulators um, and we'll show that in a folder uh, actually unzip that What you're left with is this, and that Etsy opens up Hatchy. It doesn't need further installation. So what I would do is copy this folder and put it somewhere safe on a different drive in a backup folder on your C drive on an external drive or whatever. This is going to hold a very important file. Um, so my directory I've created on my desktop uh, holds all the ROMs I want and all the files I've got and any instructions I might forget so I've unzipped Hatchy and I've created a shortcut to Hatchy um, so I'll assume you've installed Hatchy at this point I've downloaded it, unzipped it and put away you want we'll pass that so open up Hatchy, you'll see uh, this screen, that will probably be red, um, the little dot there, don't worry about that. At the minute it's just got the original games on um, and what we want to do is hack the actual SNES Mini. Um, so I'm going to turn mine off. Um, and the first thing to do is dump the kernel. I've already dumped mine. Um, it'll take a little while. It'll show you in instructions what you need to do to dump the kernel, which is basically hold reset down on your SNES and turn it on. Just hold the reset down for about three seconds, not long at all, and it'll connect. Um, the next thing you want to do is uh, download, let's have a look, is download a ROM. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the screen for a ROM site because there's not many left now. Uh, so this is the ROM site I use. So we'll download a uh, Super Nintendo uh, file, try and find something I haven't got. Uh, phew, there's a lot of rubbish. Let's have a look. Alien Free is not bad. Uh, on this site, you have to wait 15 seconds, but it, it works. So let's just wait. Um, Download that. Download the zip file, the SNES zip file. And we'll go back to a SNES Mini and we'll add, sorry, Hitchat Hachi. Um, we'll go to a downloads folder, whatever folder you've used. Select what we've just downloaded and import as archive. So there we are. Um, 
Alien 3. Now the next thing you want to do is uh, download the box art so you would right click on the game. If there's more than one game, which I'm going to show you because I'm going to put more than one game on, then you can select multiple ga games by pressing the top one, holding down shift and pressing the bottom one, bottom game in the list. Anyway, so if you right click on that, download box art, it will go, it will Google it. Um, in this case, it's still found, it's come up with an error, but it found the Genesis version. Uh, you can, you can sort of try and find a more uh, apt version like that. Super Nintendo, uh, that's that done, and plug your SNES Mini into your PC um, at this point if you haven't already done so, um, and turn it on. Now, what's going to happen here is my light's going to turn green because it's already hot in your SNES Mini. Um, your, your screen might come up with instructions to put it into um, recovery mode, uh, which at that point, this should turn green. If it's still red, don't worry about it. Let's move on to re Retro Arch. So, let's we'll have a look where we'll put that. Um, it's actually, oh god, in my backup directory, you drag that to Hachi and it'll ask what emulator as you want. Um, I've already uh, done mine, but I'll just click OK at that point. I wouldn't select the, any other options. Um, because I've never tried them, so I mean you can, but uh, obviously I I didn't advise it. Um, so next you need to synchronize uh, the game with your SNES Mini. So click synchronize. At this point, it will ask you to turn off your SNES Mini, turn it on, hold down reset, turn it on, take your finger off reset after about three seconds, and it will synchronize the games. Um, at this point, this should be, your dot should be green. Um, so, um, we've now got, we've now got Alien 3. Let's, I've got the SNES Mini working on me. Uh, left now alien 3 isn't actually working um, for some reason so I'll del delete that and I'll just add the games I want if you get any problems like this then you'll be able to figure it out that's just typical um, let's try and extract that see what it's got SMC these are all the different versions of um, Alien 3. Uh, that looks like Mega Drive versions. But, right, so I'm going to add my own games, which I know work, um, which are on my desktop. I'm going to install, uh, I'll install SNES games. These are all the ones I want. So I'll just add them. It's asking that there's a patch for Super National Cricket, which is brilliant. So I'll just apply that. Um, now you want to select them all again and right click on the bottom one and get the box up. Hopefully, it won't come up with an error. Um, I mean, the box art wouldn't have caused the problem with Alien 3, but. Uh, We'll just wait for this to happen. Mm. 
once you've got the green light down here you're absolutely uh, laughing um, you can just take games off add them um, and all kinds so what I'll do is I'll synchronize this to make sure it's working after it's downloaded the box art um, so if you click on a game you've got the box art uh, synchronize them games and all you need is your SNES Mini turned on and plugged into your PC at this point. Obviously it should still be plugged into your PC. Um, now I've got the SNES Mini on a TV to the left of it, so I'll see what I see. Um, I'll see that everything's working correctly. It takes a little bit longer to start up when you've added games. Control has decided to stop working, so I'll just reset me SNES Mini. Sorry, I'm bumbling on, but this isn't. Uh... Yeah, let's create a folder with all the games in, and the games work fine. Now, moving on to PC Engine games, um, you've installed the emulator, so PC Engine games downloaded from that site in zip format work fine, there's not a problem. Um, so we'll open them. Um, I'm going to pull a list of the games. Um, I. Uh, I've installed to give you some ideas of some of the best games on the system, in my opinion. Um, like I say, if it doesn't get you a picture you want, you just click on the game and you click on Google or you click on Browse if you want to download the picture yourself. And uh, I mean, this is, I mean, what have I selected here? That'll do. Um, so Batman on PC just means uh, Batman on PC engine but uh, if you change these names for your zip files to something which is identical to the PC engine name then you'll actually get the correct artwork um, finally I'll add in just one Mega Drive game and I'll show you a problem so you know how to fix it Aladdin, which is a zip file. I'll add that. And download the box art. PC Engine games are particularly hard to get the, um, the artwork for. Now, sync the game. Now you think you've done everything's working fine, but it won't for the simple reason that the Mega Drive uh, Aladdin is in an incorrect format. So when you click on that on your SNES Mini to play it, it won't actually play it. What you need to do is ex firstly extract it, um, and I'll put this in the description. It's quite handy. I never knew this. Click on it, change the file name from bin to smd uh, delete that right click delete that Aladdin and add the one you've just And that's your Mega Drive Aladdin added, which will work. Um, so at this point, just synchronize your games once more. Done. 
Magic Beast, that's your SNES Mini that will restart it so that's green first. Okay, a couple of seconds, a few seconds. There we are, it's green. I can see all the games are installed perfectly. Turn it off. Um, and that's you done. Plug it into the TV and away you go. Any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I'm sure I might have made a mistake with one or two of the steps. Um, but I'll, I'll be able to answer the question and help you out with that. Um, just one more thing. Go to Tachi. Um, if you got any problems and you think you've bricked um, your SNES Mini, uh, let me just get it turned on. If you click on Kernel and flash Factory Kernel, it'll reset your whole SNES Mini and it'll use the kernel you dumped earlier to flash it so you'll be back to the beginning, but your SNES Mini will still be hot. Um, one other thing I'm going to change is um, the folder structure. Fold the fold folder the folder structure. Um, maximum number of games per page forty five. Um, you can change that any. You know, anything you want, it is a bit misleading. I mean, I can't understand what half of them mean. Pages split games equally, it's a bit, it's not very good, but you can actually break, break, not break the system because I don't think you can break it, but you can corrupt it by messing around with the folders. So, yeah, kernel, flash factory, factory kernel, and that'll put you on the That'll begin the process of fixing your SNES Mini. Um, so I'll turn it off again. And plug it into my TV. Um, so, like I say, any questions, feel free to ask. I hope this is useful. Um, I'll try to make it as simple as possible because some of the videos I watched uh, excluded some key elements like getting the Mega Drive games working um, and stuff like that and how to fix it if it goes wrong so hopefully this will help you any questions in the comments thanks for watching keep on gaming and I'll see you soon